This is a DJI Neo. It does five different quick shots. It follows you, it films in 4K, and it does it all without a remote. And you can use it with a controller if you want to spend extra money and buy a controller, or you can use a virtual controller with it, but you don't really need one. It costs $199 and it flies right out of the palm of your hand just like this by pressing the mode buttons on top of the drone. But today we're not talking about the virtual remote or the controllers. We're going to fly this drone as is from the box for $199 and see what it does. And the first thing we're going to do is test the five quick shot modes and also the follow mode as well and directional tracking which is really cool on this thing. And it's all done with these little buttons on top. You basically select the mode you want to use uh, and then launch it from the palm of your hand and away we go. It starts filming as soon as you actually press the button and launch it. So whatever settings you set in the app to uh, film at, at 4K or 1080p, it'll film immediately as soon as you launch it from your palm of your hand. All right, let's test out this follow mode. I've never used this before, so let's give it a shot. Here we go. So we've got to put it in the palm of your hand. Put it in my face, press the mode button. Close. Follow. Three, two, Here we go. It's going to follow me, apparently. That's actually quite amazing. It's a little bit noisy. It's a little bit noisy, but not too bad. If I go forward, what it's going to do? If I go forward, it just sits there. It keeps its distance from me and away we go. God, it's tiny. I'm going to walk right past the camera now. Let's see what it does. Now this has no obstacle avoidance at all, so what's going to happen is if I walk into a tree or walk under a branch, it'll walk under a branch into a tree as well. It's amazing. Just make sure I don't drop the mic. And apparently, just to land it, you just put your hand out, apparently. Let's see if it works. I'll just get in range of this camera so you can see me. <laughs> Look at that, eh? It's amazing. All right, there's a bunch of different modes on this, apparently, so let's find out what they are. I'll try and listen, see if we can hear them. All right, let's do Follow. Drony. a drony. All right, here we go. This is a drony, apparently. Four meters. Drony. Three, two, one. Set to four meters. Hopefully it doesn't smash into anything. I don't know what a drony is. We're about to find out. Oh, I see. It goes up and back and then comes in forward and down. Then we can land on my hand. <laughs> this thing's great. All right, I'm gonna try another one. Circle. Circle, let's try that one. So you basically select it with the mode button by pressing once and then you hold the mode button in, which is the button on the front, while you're pointing at your face and it'll do with the rest for you. Two meters, circle, three, two, one. And a two meter circle. I'm going to make this look cinematic by turning the opposite direction. Real cinematic. <laughs> nice and steady. Now what? That's freaking awesome. All right, next one. Rocket. 
Okay, this is a rocket. This one should just go straight up. Off you go, little fella. So it goes up, then it comes down again. Should stop around here somewhere. And there we go. Let's try the next one out. What's the next mode here? So the next mode is going to be... Spotlight. Spotlight. And apparently spotlight is where the drone camera follows you, but the drone doesn't follow you. So you can move around, uh, the drone will stay where it is, and it will just turn and keep you in the spot, like in the spotlight. Let's see if it does. All right, let's pick up my phone. It should follow me, but not the... Uh, shouldn't actually follow me physically. Theoretically, it should just follow me with the camera only. Look at that, it's exactly what it's doing. So if I walk past it, oh, look at that, turn around and follow me. It's almost like this thing's alive. Now, I see why people say, come here little fellow and all that kind of stuff, because it's kind of doing everything on its own without anyone's help. Okay, I'm done with this one. This is the one I'm really interested in. I want to see how well the direction track works because the follow me mode will just follow behind you so it'll always go behind you. If you walk forward, it stops. The direction track is supposed to follow you from the side, the front, the back, the whatever. So let's try it out. Direction track. Here we go. Okay, it's in direction track. So I walk back, you should follow. If I walk forward, it should go backwards. That's interesting. What if I turn sideways? Will it go sideways? It kind of does. Let's see what it does. Let's go over here. This thing's a beast. I'm quite impressed by this little thing. I want to go forward. Now oh, I'm going to turn around, see if it follows me from behind. It's a bit of wind, but it seems to be handling it alright. So if we go sideways, is this going to follow me sideways? Again? No, not really this time, it's sort of... Sort of zero in on me first and then try... That's interesting, it's not actually following me sideways correctly. Alright. Here we go. I think it just needs time to adjust. I'm really going to use the hell out of this because <laughs> it's trying to find my face. Hello! Let's come this way. Follow me, little friend. So you start talking to it, you can't help yourself. Having a bit of problems with the direction track here. It seems to be going back into spotlight mode, which isn't what I was hoping for. So you basically put on direction track for a bit. If I stop there for a minute, it'll switch to spotlight mode. Maybe that's a setting in the app I don't know about. All right, it's following me now, is it? Yes. So if I turn around and walk towards it, will it go back? Go back, you little shit. I don't really know how to walk and talk towards this thing. Every time I do it, it stays in one spot. It's supposed to go backwards, like when I walk towards it, it's supposed to go the other way. Which it clearly isn't doing. And now, since I did that, it's lost me. It's in spotlight mode again. It's only following me with the camera. The drone actually isn't moving again. I don't know what I'm missing here, but I'm sure it's an easy fix. All right, apparently there could be a glitch when it comes to the direction track. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna walk straight to the camera this time rather than 
walk away from it and see what it does. Okay, now we're walking towards it. So I can do a walk and talk. Maybe it just doesn't like the change of direction very much. So if you're talking to camera like I am right now, this is like having your own personal cameraman. It's not the smoothest of footage, I'm sure, because there's a bit of wind and it's rocking around all over the place, but you know what? It'll do the job if you're out and about on a holiday somewhere and you want to just put something quickly to video. This is fine. Now, as it's following me currently, I'm going to walk right past this camera really closely and see if, how close I can get it without it connecting. <laughs> it missed the camera by about a millimetre. It was pretty good. Here it comes again. But it's running out of battery, that's why it's landing, I think. There are a few options I haven't tried yet, just in basic flying, which is the helix mode and boomerang shots. I want to give those a shot as well, but I was a bit low on battery, so maybe next time. But overall, you know, it's a perfect, no, it's not perfect. It's, it's a good beginner's drone though. And you want to fly it with your phone, which I'll go over in the next video. Um, it's a perfect beginner's drone for that. Of course, it isn't perfect in every way, but, and it has its problems, but it's like having your own personal cameraman with you. So you can't put a dollar figure on that for 199 bucks to have your own personal cameraman that does whatever you want without arguing back. It could be worse, right? And this is great for those vloggers or travel vloggers or even people on vacation when you want to get those epic family photos or family shots. Because at the end of the day, it's a selfie drone. A word of warning though, if you buy this drone and you buy it as is without a controller and you don't fly it with a controller, you can't fly over water and you can't fly over drop-offs that drop more than 10 meters. So if you're looking for that epic family shot of zooming around in a circle when you're standing on a cliff top you can't do it like this from out of the box you'll need to use a remote because this drone when it's like this uses the downward facing camera as its guide and if it drops more than 10 meters it'll keep going down until it hits that within 10 meter range so if you're on top of a mountain it literally could fly to the bottom say you're on the grand canyon for instance you could lose your drone it could fly over the edge and then fly all the way to the bottom until it hits that 10 meter range and over water it has a problem with reflections the sensor can't work out the reflection, so it'll either sit in place for a while until the battery runs out and then it will land in the water or it'll land straight away. I haven't tested it and I don't really want to. I'm going to do much more videos on this drone as I learn more about it over the coming weeks. But I did do a video about this and the Hover Air X1 Pro right here. Give that a click and I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.